Aloha everybody and uh, welcome to Hawaii 4 um, So I'm a little bit late with this month's update, uh, just have a lot of stuff going on right now. Um, so today's video is going to be kind of short, uh, but I just wanted to give an update on some of the things that are going on right now that are super cool uh, pertaining to Hawaii. Had some really cool stuff happening you know, over the last month and I uh, just wanted to share that with you guys. So uh, first thing I want to talk about is, um, I don't know if you guys watch Hawaii uh, 5 -0. But um, I'm really excited for tonight's episode. Uh, reason being is one of my favorite two shows are coming together. Uh, I don't know if you guys are into Dog the Bounty Hunter, but I love Dog the Bounty Hunter. I was really uh, disappointed when A&E took him off the air. And uh, he's now actually moved over to uh, CMT, the Country Music Television Network. And uh, his show is going to be starting up soon on that channel. Uh, so for those of you that follow Dog, uh, he will be coming back on television. But uh, tonight's Hawaii 5 actually features Dog the Bounty Hunter. I've only seen the preview. I haven't actually seen the episode. So if you guys are watching this, it's probably already aired, so I don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't know if it's just a cameo or what capacity he's going to be on there, but really jazzed up and stoked about that. Um, second thing is, very, very cool for me. Uh, I'm super, super excited about this. If you guys remember uh, a little while back, I went to go see Anohe on concert. Um, one of the really coolest nights of my life. I had so much fun going to see her live. And my other favorite artist from Hawaii is Jay Boog. Uh, I've featured a lot of his music in all my videos, so if you guys have been watching these, you've probably heard a lot of his songs. I'm also going to feature a couple in this video here, and um, he actually is going to be coming to Toronto. So I'm like just super ecstatic about this. I uh, already picked up my tickets, can't wait to go see him. Um, he's got probably 20 songs that I'm really into, so uh, that's going to be really fun. I'm uh, going to go down with some friends and my wife, we're going to go check him out. And um, one of the cool things there is the fact that uh, I've been going on to his uh, different uh, scheduling concert because he's tours all through the U.S. and I'd always write on his uh, YouTube or not his YouTube but his Facebook. You know, was there any chance you're coming up to Canada? And every time a tour would go out over the last couple of years, it, it would always pretty much just be in the U.S. But when I found out he was coming here, my melt went whoa! So this is really cool. Really excited for that. Uh, I really suggest I'll put a link to some of his stuff below so you guys can check out his music. Uh, so hopefully you guys get to uh, check that out. The coolest thing uh, that happened to me over this last week though is, uh, for those of you that know me and follow me know how dear Lost is to me. Uh, Lost is like one of my favorite things in the whole world and um, one of the, uh, my favorite people on Lost is Evangeline Lilly uh, who plays Kate on the show and uh, for years she had never really got into social media. She wasn't on Facebook, she wasn't on Twitter and you know she just kind of keep that part of her life separate. But what happened was, uh, I recently found out in an article that she is actually getting into social media. So she has a Facebook account, she has a Twitter account, and she's reaching out to the fans. Uh, her new project she's working on is The Hobbit, uh, and that's going to be coming out soon. So for those of you, you'll get to see her in that. She plays a character named Ariel. Um, so it's really cool that um, she's on social media. So for years, I've been trying to write her. Uh, you know, I've sent stuff to the Honolulu Film Studio, uh, ABC directly, hoping to get some fan mail to her. Just never worked out. So um, recently, I wrote her a letter on Facebook, just you know, wanted to let her know I support her and how what a huge impact her character had on me. Uh, not expecting anything in return, and uh, I got the biggest surprise ever. She actually wrote me back. Man, I have been smiling nonstop ever since. I can't believe that Evangeline Lilly had some time to actually watch my YouTube channel. She's actually one of the views up there, which to me was just amazing. Totally, totally made my day, uh, my week for that matter. Uh, and since then, I've actually run her back. She wrote me back again. So, guys, really cool. I mean, as far as celebrities go, I mean, here's somebody that takes the time to write, respond to her fans, and uh, I just, Evangeline, thank you so much. I really appreciate the fact you took the time to do that. It really means the world to me. And uh, again, I just, I can't thank you enough. Um, and on that note, because of that, I really want to, uh, I keep saying I'm going to do a loss, something about loss, something about loss. What I'd like to do is two videos on loss. One, a non-spoiler version, just telling people uh, the effect it had on me in more detail and why I think, you know, people that haven't seen it should take advantage of a chance of getting to watch the show. And the second video will be for the people that have saw it and then I can, uh, you know, share some of my cool secrets and stuff that I learned along the way from people I follow, opinions that I formed on my own. So you guys can expect to see that. I know I've been saying, oh, I'm going to do a loss video, I'm going to do a loss video, I never do. I think that, I don't know what the reason is, but I don't know, I'm having a hard time letting go of loss, so I'm afraid like when I put it out here, then that's it for me, so I guess I've been secretly kind of hanging on to that. Guys, thanks again so much for watching, I uh, look forward to seeing you guys soon, and uh, mahalo, God bless.